Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now, today, we are on seriously dodgy territory. I mean, we are walking on eggshells. Today, we are going to be making the classic, traditional, almost a national treasure in Scotland, the mystical lawn sausage, also known as slicing sausage and square sausage. Why? Well, it's square, man. There ain't no skins, which in making sausages is half the battle. So all we've got to do is get this mix right. And when I say this is a national treasure, I mean, they love this. And don't get me wrong, it is absolutely beautiful. So it is, like I said, a skinless uh, sausage. We'll make up the mixture and then we pack it into a tin. Now there is designated lawn tins, lawn sausage tins, they cost 140 quid. Unbelievable, so if not, you can use a loaf tin. I've got my wonderful new press from Westenfeld here, which will do the trick nicely. So we make up the mix, put it in our tin. Now you can freeze it, but it's best to leave it overnight. And then you cut it into half inch slices then pack it up the rest in the freezer the rest you get in the pan so what are we going to make it of as per usual hundreds of recipes all made by scottish people actually mm. uh, pretty much so the same for herbs and spices well spices go into it ground coriander ground nutmeg white pepper and some salt for my meat we're going to be doing half and a half half and a half half and a half I've got some beautiful pork shoulder here and some stunning beef braising now this sausage is all about the fat content you need some beautiful fatty meat else it will just be dry I mean doing a bit of research on this you know years ago it was made with obviously the less desirable bits. I know I'm gonna get a kick in the ball bag for that, I know, but it's just the truth. And there was so much fatty meat went in it that when you cooked it, it turned out half the size of when you started, but that don't matter. This soft Southern Sassanac is gonna have a go at it. So the first thing we wanna do then is get our meat minced. Just gotta cut up my braising steak, have a look at my knife. Can you see that? engraving my mate Ollie Roman numerals when the SRP started and that beautiful sugar skull he's just experimenting with his new laser I cannot wait to see what he can do with my chopper <laughs> so what I got here then two pound of braising two pound of shoulder and pork shoulder and pork shoulder of pork first thing we need to do is get that lot through the mincer so load up the old hopper put that over there get me bowl and get it through i'm trying to put a bit of pork through a bit of beef just to help with the mixing but it doesn't really matter it's going to be mixed by hand anyway after So the job, as they say around here, is a good one. There's our mixed beef and pork. Now the lawn sausage, if you look at it, it's very pinky, very red. And that, I guess, is where the color comes from. So next, we need to make up our seasoning blend. As per usual, when I'm researching these recipes, there's hundreds of them, but they have all got these four beauties. But as you can imagine, all in varying amounts. So what I'm gonna to do to start with, I'm gonna put four tablespoons of salt. 
Now I'm going to put two tablespoons of pepper. One tablespoon of nutmeg. I'm just going to put one and a half of coriander. So as this is a skinless sausage, for anybody that wants to try this, so much easier. You could just go to your butchers and ask for minced beef, minced pork. You can even make a smaller batch. Just ask him for a pound of minced pork and a pound of minced beef and then follow this lovely little video so there's our seasoning mix what i'm going to do i'm going to add a bit of that at a time then fry off a little bit make a, a test patty and then if i can adjust it as i want you know the golden rule you can always add you cannot take away right next we need some water So I've got a pint of water here, but I'm just going to add half a pint and just give it a bit of a mix. Just to get it nice and sticky. So with our seasoning then, I'm just going to add half start with and we can go from there as you can imagine smells absolutely fabulous great color oh, beautiful so to that I'm going to add some rusk now I've got eight ounces here. I'm gonna add four to start with. Traditionally, again, always in the sausage. Some say use fresh bread crumbs. Some use dried bread crumbs. Either will work well, but if you can get rusk, especially this finer pinhead rusk, you're gonna get a much more authentic sausage. Let's get a bit more in. And obviously, because it's got no skins, you want quite a firm mixture. I suppose almost burger-esque. Let's go in with a bit more. So you don't want it too sticky whatsoever. So I'm going to send that through the mincer one more time. I think I'm going to need some more spice in there, so I'll add a little bit now. Then we'll just fry off a little bit to test it. And we'll go from there. Right, let's get that through again. Well, the colour is bang on. All we need to do now is give it another mix. Test that seasoning, that's the all important bit. Then when it's nailed, we will get it in the tin. Okay, just fried me a little sample off. Let's have a look. Knife is nice and clean. So, it's all about the texture apparently. Great texture. 
Mmm, great, great frosted. So it needs to have that slightly, I don't know what the, the word is, mealy from the cereal mouthfeel to it, but it definitely needs a little bit more seasoning. So. Gonna ramp it up. I'm gonna put it all in. And I'm gonna get my hands in. Just give it a final mix. Like I said, don't go to the trouble of getting a specific lawn sausage tin just a normal two pound uh, bread tin will be absolutely perfect that's much better I mean you can always tell if you've seasoned it enough just by smelling it when I smelt it beforehand, smelt lovely, but I didn't get, oh beautiful, all those spices coming through. So I'm just going to add just a spot of water, just to let that down just a little bit, then we'll pack it into my press or tin. And we won't even use the lid. It wants to be quite a loose-ish texture. You don't want to pack it tight. I think that's enough, you know. I think we're rocking and rolling, baby. Right. That goes there. That goes there. So, I'm not going to use that lid. Like I said, I want it quite relaxed in there. Relax sausage, sir. So I'm going to line it with good old cling film. Make sure we get it on the bottom. Make sure it's all nice and even. Beautiful. Whoever invented this stuff needs a kick in the wee ball bag. Nightmare. Oh dear, dear, dear. So, fettle, fettle, fettle. I want to make sure we got a bit in the bottom. This bloody stuff wants launching. <laughs> oh man. Have it. Okay. Robert, your mother's brother. Let's do it. Let's get it in there. We is on. So, nice and gently, make sure you get it in the corners. Like I said at the start, you can make a smaller version of this, just half the ingredients. But it may be so good, you just make the whole thing. I think we are done. So, just fold that over. 
and we play the waiting game. So, minimum of 12 hours. So if you make this about six o'clock at night, you can get up and have some in a roll. Right, sleep tight. Looks all right, doesn't it? A beautiful morning here on the border of Herefordshire. Even better, this has been in the fridge actually overnight come on ah, beautiful set up nicely I cannot wait to try some of this for me breakfast. Now, I'm just going to take a slice, but I think it's a case of, it's going to be maybe a serrated knife job. Oh, look at it. See if that's any better with that. Nice and gentle. Beautiful. Smells amazing. Looks amazing. Gotta cook a bit of this. Looks pretty good to me. I think I've got the texture down. Not too tight. Smells wonderful. Let's go to the kitchen. It's like a happy, smiling face. Hopefully, that's what I will be looking like after I've got these down me neck smell amazing have a look at them absolutely beautiful so I'm just going to take one because I want that other one for a photo so put that on there that goes there only one way to have these obviously with a full we can't say English breakfast Scottish breakfast or butter on a roll just like that with a slice just like that and then a bit of the broom sauce Then what you do is you close the lid and get it down your Gregory Peck. It's beautiful. No messing. Mm. The only thing that can make that better is an egg. Sausage of the boys. Mm. Deadly they are. You could eat them all day. So there you have it, my friends. The wonderful Scottish lawn sausage, square sausage, 
butcher's slice. It's absolutely beautiful. It really is. And for anybody who wants to get into sausage making, super, super simple. You haven't got to buy a sausage stuffer. You haven't got to mess around with skins. Just make the mix, whack it in a bread tin, and you're away. Absolutely stunning. Now, I've got to stop myself eating that, but I need to take some pics. Hmm. Anyway, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my face comes somewhere here. Beautiful, beautiful face, man. Also, check me out on my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, at the Scott Reed Project. And if you'd like to help the SRP along, why not? Why wouldn't you help us continue to give you free knowledge? <laughs> please check out my Patreon page. So until next time, take care. I'm going to take a photo of this for the thumbnail and social media. And yes, I'm going to wolf it. Take care, my friends. Just have a look, hey? It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it.